Hi, my name is Aleksandra Czwartyńska and I'm working in Centrum Cyfrowe. And today, uh, today I'm gonna show you um, our project, EduCop. Uh, that's mean, uh, th this is our educational co cooperative that we conduct uh, for four years now. And, and it's, <laughs> it's bigger and bigger uh, every day. And I uh, now I'm starting to share my screen to show you how it looks and uh, what you can take from it. And uh, I hope you will like it. Yeah. So this is this is our our open education cooperative, um, which is carrying in Centrum Cyfrowe. Centrum Cyfrowe is a foundation based in Warsaw, Poland. Mm, we work with education and culture. Uh, we talk a lot about new technologies and how these new technologies uh, can could be better for people, not exactly just to be good technology, but to make this world better, uh, our environment uh, better. Mm, now we also start to talk about uh, green education and this connection between uh, climate changes and new technologies uh, also. And we work also in policy, um, in copyright law uh, in policy, mostly. And, uh, but our Edo story begins four years uh, ago. I mean, maybe not our, but mine Edo story in uh, Centrum Cyfrowe begins for uh, four years uh, uh, ago, uh, and we, we started there our um, uh, educational cooperative. Uh, how and why? We just thought that um, it is quite hard in Poland to talk about open education because we have very nice open education, very nice educational exception in our copyright law. That means that you can use basically everything, every uh, material during your lesson without any, without, um, any fees or you don't need to ask anyone. Uh, so it's not so easy to explain why this openness is so, um, so important and also useful for for teachers and that's where it started we started to look to the places where is this gaps in our materials what our teachers need and uh, then we figured out that uh, we have quite huge problems with math materials they are very um, similar uh, not uh, so easy to use and to change they're not so flexible uh, so we started to talk about open education resources, but uh, <laughs> also <laughs> about uh, mathematics and how, how mathematics could use it. Mm. And then we think also, um, because as I said, it's very hard to explain this uh, open education idea. That, uh, that So we, we thought that we need some, basic story, of course, and also some basic values that we want to share with our, our teachers, because then we work only with teachers. So uh, first of all, we think about this cooperation because we know that in Poland, um, teachers uh, could, can be very lonely and uh, <laughs> they are working alone and not so much uh, cooperate. Uh, with each other. Pandemic changed this a little bit, uh, I can say, but in four years ago, uh, when I asked teachers, they said, yeah, we if you want to do anything, you need to do alone. So we started with this cooperation and learning. It was very important because we need to show to the teachers why creating their own materials are good also for them, what they can take from this process. And this learning part was, was 
very very important that this this is uh, that, that was the moment when they could learn some new methods some some new uh, programs uh, some new ways uh, or tools ways of teaching or tools uh, to use so this learning part is very very important but also adventure we thought this um uh, this the, the education should be fun and the learning and teaching uh, should be fun and uh, not only uh, necessary <laughs> but also something that you really really like to do and want to do uh, as we know we uh, learn better when we are happy safe uh, and uh, that may, makes us more interested in uh, in many stuff and that's why this adventure part is so so important and we try to do some different things also with our teachers not only uh, creating uh, creating open education uh, resources and of course openness to the end all materials that our teachers uh, create um, are on open licenses and we uh, teach them uh, how to use uh, creative common licenses and why and what, what is um, public domain and so on. And this is our process. As you can see, we always start with research. It could be small, it could be the big, <laughs> but it all, we always start uh, with, uh, with some kind of uh, research. And then we uh, think about this main topic uh, that we want to use. Mm, it could be mathematics in the first, then also climate changes or, or climate uh, crisis. Um, this year it, it's going to be um, a local project. And then we uh, mm, conduct workshops, uh, offline uh, workshops. We just uh, met uh, all, uh, we, we met all our teachers. We just really like to know them and give them what they really, really want. Uh, so we we have like four uh, weekends uh, of, of workshops. And after these workshops, they uh, create uh, open education resources um, at homes mostly, sometimes during the workshops, sometimes at homes, and then create in their own schools uh, these teacher networks Mm, schools or in in their own libraries we also start to work with librarians and this is our one leg and another is this online course a course uh, uh, which is somehow just online version of this offline workshops so we are trying to make it very active um, uh, participants still create their own OERs, they have their own um, mentors uh, who helps them to, to finish the, the work. And this is this is our um, our circle, our methodology of uh, EduCop. I, I said that we have this uh, research this year, we have a big one um, about uh, how different countries uh, used open education materials during pandemic. Uh, and I think during this confer uh, conference, also my colleague is going to talk about uh, this research more. So here, I just want to uh, to show you that we have this, and I really recommend you to uh, to read it because it's quite interesting. And this is the um, this is our course, uh, and we translated. Uh, it's not already done, so but you have a link here also. You can. Um, you can go there, you can see what we have. It's a work in progress. Probably it's gonna be work in progress forever because there's so many materials that we could put to them. And I think it's okay. <laughs> it's it, it's uh, very open because it works all the time. Um, and to the end, I'm just uh, inviting you to, um, to go there and to share with me uh, your ideas and um, um, and if you have any any idea or some um, 
uh, how to join us or maybe you have any questions about our project. Uh, I will be very happy to, to answer it. This is, uh, this is my email. You can write to me. Uh, I'm going to be also on this conference. Maybe we we'll just met. Uh, we, we, we don't just meet uh, somewhere uh, online during this conference. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for listening and have a nice day.